I'm going to be making a curly hair video for you today talking all about those pesky curls that just don't twirl the way you think they should and how to help them look perfect. So keep watching if that's what you want to see. My hair right now, I did what I'm calling a wash and go. I didn't actually use any shampoo or anything and I just wet my hair all over. And I scrunched it with one of my favorite refresher products and feel like it's looking okay today, but there's a few curls that I need to help out a little bit here. Some of you may have some curls that um, are straighter than mine or that you're having even more trouble with. And you know, this video is for you too, so hopefully that'll help you out. So I'm just going to kind of check and look around and see. Um, I think it was this curl that I wanted to work with. Um, as you can see, it's not really curling at all. It's just kind of bull, right? What is that? So um, I'm going to show you what to do here. This curl is kind of hidden back inside. It's not here along the front, and it's not right on top. So what I'm going to show you will work for those types of curls. All right. You can see how it's starting to twist right here. You want to see the direction that it's twisting and turn it into a ribbon. So I'm going to smooth it down so that it's actually ribbon-like. Right, and if you have any questions about what I'm doing, please put the comments below and I will get back to you on them. All right, so I'm going to use my thumb and actually twist this hair around. And do you see how I'm keeping it in that same ribbon form? That way I'm going to get a very uniform curl. Okay, smooth that end over. Kind of pinch this together here off of my thumb and then gently lay that back down. Huge improvement, right? Okay, and then this is the type of curl that you want. I mean, you can scrunch that, you can pin it down and let it dry, or whatever you need to do, just let it hang there. Okay, so that's going to look so much better. Now, so for the hairs on top here, I have a couple in the front that are also kind of doing some weird things. They're a little wispy. I want them a little clumpier, so I'm just going to put them together. Um, let's, let's, this one, yeah, this should all be one beautiful curl. Let's work on that. Pull the hair down towards your face and get it in, going into that ribbon. Make it nice and smooth into that ribbon. Get it all combined here. And I'm going to tell you something about my curls anyway. They seem to form better if I twirl them forward towards my face. Okay, so instead of pulling the hair back and going this direction, which I could, um, I'm actually going to twirl it forward. So I'm going to get my thumb here again and twirl it forward. This is actually what I call an opposite direction. The hair wants to kind of go back and I'm making it go forwards. Okay, curling under or forward or however you want to think. All right, look at that. Now, when you, when you twirl it forward away towards your face like that, it provides a whole bunch of lift right here at the root. And that is what helps to create that curl. Look at that, right off of the root. Okay, so now this may be falling in my face and that's okay, but what I'm going to do is gently bring it back, keeping it in that same form that I made, and I can tug at the back and the, full, the front just a little bit to kind of help set that, or I could put a little pin or whatever I need to do, or I can just let it hang wherever I want that. Uh, let's do a little more hunting and see if we can find any more curls that need a little help here. Once again, I have several skinny ones mixed with some thicker ones that really should be one curl. And I'm not going to sit here and just go like this, okay, because look what happens. It's not really curling at all. It's like it's straight, okay. Um, some people, they just go like that, but I mean, look, this is all totally straight right here. So, so I am going to actually, like I say, turn this into a little bit more of a ribbon here get it smooth just for a little bit 
and then find a finger that I think works well and literally just keep it going in that ribboning direction. Make sure the ends are nice and smooth down there and then just carefully take that off and make sure that lays nice. Look at that huge difference. Look at how much more curled it is here in this section. Okay? And then make sure your 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 ends get nice and smooth together. If you need a little extra product because it flares, then that's a sign. That means you didn't get quite enough product there. So this looks like it'll be okay though. But this is going to give me a lot more lift and a lot more definition. Okay, so the last thing that I want to tell you um, besides just continuing around the top of your crown or whatever you think you need to do is finding one that you think is curling okay but needs a little help towards a certain section. Let's let's say this one. By the way, it's it's split too. Let's actually just take this one by itself. As you can see, this this curl really isn't doing much. I mean, it's got a little flip here right at my root, and it's trying to spiral, but it just needs a little help. So instead of actually twirling that or wrapping it around my finger, what I'm going to do is actually use the right pressure just in the right areas and, and form it into a curl just by kind of going like that. Look at that, how I kind of made a kink in that. And then think about the way it needs to go and make another one. And you're literally just, look at that. Look how fast this is right before your eyes. There we go. Okay, turn it and just kind of give it a little smooth in the direction that you want it to go. Look at that. It's like your curls are almost confused. You know, my curls are confused and you kind of just need to help it out a little tiny bit. Okay, now look at that. I mean, I didn't do very much to that. That was really easy. Look at how much better that looks. Okay, so for you ladies who are struggling with those curls that are just pesky, you know, they just don't know what they want to do, just help them out a little, you know? So I hope this helps you guys. So at this point in my routine process, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of root lifting pins and a few things that way to get it to dry in the way that I want. And then... Um, you know, you just go from there. But hopefully that will help you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to comment below any more questions that you have for me. Thanks, everybody.